got a very quick unboxing and a demo of a new product. Um, so here it is, Obsessed Garage packaging. Um, this came from them and I hope this is what I think it is because I haven't opened it yet. So yes it is. All right. So these are the new Detail Factory brushes. Tire scrub brush and the curve ball. All right, so here's the packaging. Obviously they arrived unscathed. Um, Sess Garage does a good job packaging their products. And uh, you know, these, we got an email that these were going to be available. Um, I pre-ordered mine and I received them today. So this one is a tire scrub brush. Um, it's interesting. Not sure whether I'm gonna like it or not gonna like it. Um, I have a, a big Chemical Guys brush that I've been using. It's like a red bristled Chemical Guys brush and that's been working really well. Um, this is the new, obviously, Detail Factory. I like the handle on it a lot. It's rubberized, it's very comfortable. Um, the bristles are a little bit longer than, say, uh, the Tough Shine brush, which I used for a while in the past. Um, this is the one that I was the most excited about receiving. This is the Curveball. Which is going to be like a it's a large area detailing brush, but I'm going to be using it for tire dressing, I think. And what's really cool is it has this nice mount, this detail factory mount. So it's like a wall mount, it's screw holes in the back, you can mount it to the wall, and then it holds the brush like this. I'm not sure why you would want to mount it to the wall. I mean I can understand wanting to hold it up because that keeps the bristles kind of clean, but um, theoretically this is going to be um, dripping potentially or have stuff on it. It is a lot softer than I was expecting. It's very, very soft. Uh, it's got a really nice handle on it, nice and ergonomic. It's like a rubberized but plastic um, handle. Uh, fits well into your hand. Uh, I think this is a really cool brush, honestly. Super soft. All right, so here we have our curveball. And we also have um, some, uh, this is OG tire dressing, Obsessed Garage tire dressing. Um, doing this one-handed, so I'm gonna kinda balance this here. Um, the brush is pretty nice, it'll kinda sit flat on its head like that. Um, so we'll just spray some dressing on here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this wheel and we're just gonna kinda paint it on like we're painting a wall. Um, so I will say, um, I like it uh, from a speed perspective. Um, it's, it's fast and it seems to be applying pretty uniformly. Um, one thing that's kind of nice is because it's got this curve, even if you overhang the wheel a little bit, you're not really getting um, the tire dressing on the wheel. You're more so getting it, um, you know, it's, it's the, the, the fat part is here. So you've got this kind of gap here between this and the wheel. Um, so let's, uh, Put this on. Some of these finer details, like the little words here, max load and all that kind of stuff, you might have to hit a couple times, like if you're painting a porous wall. Um, and just kind of run around it once. I do like this little stand. I think that's kind of cool. It gives you a place to set it when you're not using it. Um, it is also a wall mount, of course. Um, but there we go. That is applied. So there's the after. Here's the before. Pretty, um, pretty good difference. So we'll give this uh, two minutes to dry and then uh, I'll come back here and show it to you. All right, so here we are. So we've got our tire dressing applied. As you can see, it's not really a very glossy finish. It's kind of a semi-gloss or matte finish. Um, this is kind of what I like to go for. Um, I, I really like the brush. Um, I like that it's very consistent through these letters. Um, and, and these letters, you can normally see like dark spots and light spots. Um, kind of around the words. Um, so the brush works really, really well. I'm pretty happy with it. So anyway, I went around and did the other wheels. It took me under five minutes to do all four of them. Just really nice. Um, these ones are obviously still drying, uh, but that one's done. So thank you for watching and uh, I hope you'll have a great day.